What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Now, I figured tonight, it is in fact Monday, it's now quarter to eight. Now what I figured tonight would be, would do was I'd give you an update on what's happening with Park and Wars outside. Because there's a bit of a story about while I was away. And then number two is what I've learned over the last 11 months doing the daily vlog video. What I've learned and what I've come to understand from making the videos. Let's start with Park and Wars first. So while I was away, apparently the son of the next door neighbour who agreed that me and the wife could park there, even though it's got nothing to do with who agrees with who because all who can park there, is because apparently you can park anywhere along this road, it doesn't matter, because there's no lines, but you can park on the pavement anywhere. So basically what the, what the police have said is you can actually block someone's driveway, which is just absolutely stupid. But I don't actually block his driveway. I park further up from his gates, as you all know. Now apparently while I was away, his son stopped, stopped my wife and had to go with her. Now, I don't appreciate that, not one bit, but I won't get into that until our LED light has just died on me. So back to normal, one light, two lights. So fingers crossed, you know, this light's not too bad, it's not too harsh, it's just warm. What I've learned now, basically what coming on to the park and more situation, I'm still going to carry on parking my car there no matter what. If you've got a problem, you can come and talk to me. And there will be a letter going into the police now to basically say what's gone on. And the other night, last night, we were due to go out, as you know. If you watched last night's video, you know that I was going out last night for a meal. Now on the way out, two of the cars had notices on the windscreens from the police, yellow. We thought they were yellow tickets again. They went, they were a piece of card saying that this is a warning. Commit the offence again, you'll get a ticket and it's £30. Now the, the parking ticket that I got cost me £50. Now it's gone down to £30. And it's from a completely different police force as well. It's from St. Helens Police Force, whereas the other one was from Smith Down Road. Let's just move along to what I've learned. So what I've learned doing the daily videos is it's not the equipment. You know, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this one I'm filming on, it's not the phone. It's not that that makes the video. At the end of the day, it's you guys that make the video. You know, if you want to do a daily, if you want to go for the daily video or you want to do a vlog, do just do the vlog. Don't worry about what equipment you've got. You know, at the end of the day, this is a near enough a thousand pounds point and shoot camera, and it's broke. You know, don't worry so much about equipment. At the end of the day, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Like this one, as for me, it cost me six hundred a while ago, and obviously now it's broken. It is going to get sent off to Sony to be repaired. I was going to look at getting the uh, Mark V and trying to sell this, but then I was like, for the money I'm going to pay out, I mean, I'll just get it repaired and still have it, and I still record 4K and stuff like that, so no big issue. I was thinking about upgrading the Canon to the Sony A7R line, however, I'm not ready to make that leap just yet, because at the end of the day, you know, I'm, this is a hobby, I'm doing this as a hobby which is running a business behind it and you know it's getting my name out there and stuff like that that's the other side of things as well you've got to be you know although some of the videos you know I, I do think that I'm my own worst critic when it comes to making the video as well as you guys on the comment section you know it's myself as well I always critique the, my own video and then it comes to a point where I've put a video out and I think it's back to myself the fact that I don't even like the video and I'm you guys are watching it but some of you guys enjoy the video some don't you know that's just the way it works on youtube as of like right now what i've learned is it's not the equipment that tells the story it's you that tells the story you tell the story of you you're telling your story to viewers all across the world that get to know you as a person you know you guys have well like i've made these videos real and as raw as i possibly can and the reason for that is, is that obviously I could have done all fancy cinematography like I've shown you in some videos that I can do. You know, I could have done that throughout every every daily vlog, you know, through a time lapse and through a little bit of cinematic through and you know, I could have done that in every video, but then what's the point? It becomes not real. It doesn't become that raw, unedited footage. Like obviously I go through this and I take out all the hands, aims, etc. You know, all the, the weird stuff like that I take out. Because at the end of the day, you know, that's the way, like, the vocabulary is made by us. And mine is sort of, and, and, but. And so, and stuff like that. It just, you, your mind is focused on getting this video done. 
so much that you go, you kind of stop your, th- your, your, your train of thoughts that strong and you kind of go with the story and you go, but and, and so, so it, it, it takes it away from the story. So I always take them bits out so you guys don't see that, but I do still do that from like, I mean, not as bad as I used to do with the aims and stuff like that, but I still do that. I, I really still do it. I know I, I may show you one day in an un, un, unedited video the ands, the aims, the butts, the soaps, you know, it's it's all in there. But at the end of the day, what I've also learned is, is the fact that the viewer has made this channel what it is. Okay, it's not very big. It's the viewer that makes the channel what it is. It's the viewer that goes, I like this guy. I like his story. I like what he's telling me. I maybe like his car. I like his cameras. I like his phone. I like his Snapchat specs. I like his laptop. You know, maybe I could do something, maybe I could learn something from him. I don't know what you're going to learn from me, by the way, apart from being raw and real. That's what I tend to do, and then obviously when they, they watch the video and they watch a few more, and they go, do you know what, yeah, this guy's got an, a good thing to say, I'll click that subscribe button, I'll click that like button. That's the way it should be, and that's the way that it, obviously YouTube works. And then YouTube's got the algorithm behind it then to push your channel further out and get your story out there now as i said to you there's videos in the past where i've looked at them and gone oh my god i can't believe i posted that but it's all a learning curve at the end of the day that's what it's uh, it's always going to be a learning curve we're constantly learning no one is that far advanced that they don't know that they know everything you know there's people out there that don't know how to use a camera there's people out there that don't know how to use a laptop you know there's no one out there that knows everything and you know that's what you kind of bring to the table you know with the likes of the tech reviews and obviously when i've done the accessibility video it's teaching people new things like i'm constantly on youtube all the time learning new things as that's what i like to do i like to teach myself i taught myself how to use cameras i taught myself how to photographer how to be a photographer i taught myself all of that you know self-taught and then I taught myself how to use the camera to video and how to make the video and how to edit the video through iMovie. I wish I could use Final Cut Pro. However, I just can't get into it. My mind doesn't seem to want to activate through them videos that I'm watching. Or maybe it's just trying to take too much in at once. So maybe I need to stagger the learning process. But that's what I've learned up to now in the 11 months I've been doing this. And obviously, as you know, we're coming into the 12th month, which means now we're coming into the run up to the end of the daily videos. And as much as I can say to you that I'm looking forward to ending it, I'm also not looking forward to ending it at the same time. Because you guys have been here with me from the start of the day one daily vlog up to now. You know, people have come, people have gone, people have been blocked. You know, it's just the way things work and it's just the way things go. Thanks for sticking with me. I truly appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Also as well, you know, I... As much as I'd love to be able to, obviously when I'm going to work every morning, I've tried it where I've done the video going to work and I've filmed a little bit here and there, put them into the video. It's not what people are here for, it's not what, I don't think that's what you guys have came to this channel for, you guys have came to me to, for me to keep it raw and real, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. The odd bits that I put in, like when we were in Orlando, it was much easier for me to film, and that's being honest. In Orlando, for me, it was much more easier to film. And I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it was because I was much more comfortable, more relaxed over there. But, you know, some of them videos went together just so perfectly. When I was sitting there editing, I was like, that's gone together so well. I'm really happy with that. And then, you know, I come home and then videos just aren't gelling anymore. And I'm like, it's, it's, it must have something to do with the relaxation thing and being in work. And trying to do a lot of things at once. You know, like tonight I've come in from work. I've basically... I've been asleep for like a good hour or so because I was super super tired this morning and decided that I did want to have like a little weird power nap and I've done that and now I want to obviously sit down and want to watch some YouTube videos but then I've also got to make my own YouTube videos I want to edit this video and then I also want to edit some Orlando Taurus videos which need to go up which I haven't done yet there's stuff from my app that I still haven't posted and that's because this daily vlog has taken over it's it basically there's people out there you know there's like there's other vloggers and stuff like that that were at IAPA that have already published their stuff but then there's the, the likes of the the room tour that I could publish on Orlando tours now and then to kind of float the IAPA stuff around now to be like here's what happened at IAPA 
you know, and do it that way and then put it into a blog type of thing as well and then add the videos into the blog to show you exactly what I've done. You know, there's ways and means around everything and there's ways of doing things and that is my way of doing things. Like, one more story before we go is, while I was in IAPA, I was a bit, obviously, as you know, Bob, who used to own Pixels at the Parks, which was another blogging site for Orlando. Now, we're good friends, you know, we're not enemies, we're not nothing like that because everything, as you know, is very cutthroat. You know, you've got YouTube, which is just extremely cutthroat. You know, people don't want to, people do want to collaborate with them. There's others out there that think you're competition and you're not. You just like them, but you're trying to get somewhere. And that's what it's like in the blogging world as well, especially in Orlando with the theme park bloggers. Instead of working together, people tend to put themselves in little groups, shall we say, and then you don't get nowhere with it because at the end of the day you're blocked out of that group, you're away from them, etc. So they don't want to work with you and they don't work with anyone else neither or they don't help you out or you don't help them. You don't help them out because at the end of the day that's what I've learned. I've helped a few people out and never got nothing back in return for it. I'm not that type of person but it would have been nice maybe if one day they would have said to me, do you fancy coming to my app and go with me and I'll do some stuff for you. Like Bob, I get on really, really well with Bob and he was doing the photography work for me while I was doing the video work. So, you know, it's always nice to have stuff like that. But he said to me, I don't you rush to certain things. You know, like the River Rapids thing. I mean, I wasn't near the front. I was near the back. And then I waited until a few days later. Or a day later, sorry. Because then the the press event bit was over. There was no one there then, near the actual ride. Like, the, the actual, like, ride vehicle. There was no one near it. Which meant that I could get every angle and every picture that I needed and every bit of video that I needed without anyone being there and then Bob said to me, he said why don't you rush to be first to do all that stuff and I said well it's going to take me time on it at the end of the day all them other bloggers are going to go right let's push all that out to social media right now let's get that all out and that's that's great for them you know it gets them the views it gets them the figures but then I come along and I go I'm going to put that out now I think it's a good time I'll put it out now and I'll tell you the story about why I put it out now. You know, that's the way I've, I want to work. I want to work chilled and relaxed, not being like, I've got to be first to do it. I've got to be first. Because, like, you get that a lot as well when you're blogging. You get a lot of people say, oh, I was first to do that. That's going to be chilled, laid back, and just do my own thing. So, I don't know whether that makes me bad, bad at my job or good at my job. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop rambling on now. Thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Give this video a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you soon in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow I'm going to a concert. So thanks for watching guys. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>